2003, Arnold says hasta la vista Hollywood and hello Governor's Mansion. The man in black takes a final bow. And she kissed the girl at the VMAs. Plus, on June 17th, the lead singer of one of the greatest musical trios of all time steps out on her own. This is A Year in Music 2003. In 2003, Amy Lee and Evanescence broke through the radio, just reached right out of it. And up until this point, I was looking back to my parents' generation for inspiration to show me that it's possible for girls in 2003, in modern times, to be rock stars. And when Amy Lee broke out, she absolutely opened the door for all of us. I've known Amy Lee for almost 10 years now. We've toured together. We've done songs together. We actually have a duet out. And she's one of the sweetest people in the world and has carried her career with such grace and dignity and just badassery. By this time, Evanescence had been around since the 90s. But it was 2003 when they released their first album, Fallen. The duo was formed in Arkansas by Amy and lead guitarist Ben Moody. After moving to L.A. and honing their sound, they were ready to release Fallen. But the suits demanded that they add a male co-vocalist. They weren't happy, but they gave in, completing their lineup with John LeCompte, Rocky Gray, and Will Boyd. The album is one of the best selling in the 21st century and won Best New Artist and Best Hard Rock Performance Grammys. 